Good morning, or whatever time of day it is that you are receiving this or listening to it, interacting with it. For me, recording it, it is morning time, so I say good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Um, my task this morning is to um, share some insights, if you will, uh, on some of the parables that Jesus gave um, in the book of Matthew, uh, starting in chapter 13 and verse 44. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and read it and then try to unpack it a little bit or, or share some of my thoughts on it. It says, The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in a field. When a man found it, he hid it again, and then in his joy went and sold all that he had and bought that field. And in 40, 45, Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant looking for fine pearls. When he found one of great value, he went away and sold everything he had and bought it. And then later on, Jesus says, have you understood all these things? And they said, yes. Now, I'll be honest, I always do not answer with a yes, because sometimes I do not understand. <laughs> um, and maybe you're in the same boat. And in that, we can be uh, realize we're not alone and um, sometimes not always understanding. Um but I want to go back um, to where it says, The kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field. When a man found it, he hid it again, and then in his joy went and sold all he had and bought that field. I think a couple of things that I find interesting about this is that the it, it appears that this man wasn't necessarily looking for, um, uh, for what he ended up finding, um, that he sort of stumbled across it. And that happens to us in life, right? We, cumble, we stumble across something, um, whether it's an idea, a philosophy, a religion. Maybe it actually is a great car, uh, a great house, a great, for me, I love music, so maybe a great album. Um, not that long ago in Asheville, North Carolina, I saw a, I'm a big Bob Marley fan and, and came across a, an album I had never heard of by Bob Marley um, and uh, on vinyl, of all things, it was a record. And it was $75, and uh, honestly, I would love to have purchased that album, but, uh, you know, it, it really, in that case, did not, um, as much as I thought I would enjoy listening to it and stuff, it was not worth, to me, $75. But the thing was, I wasn't going out there looking for a Bob Marley record, I was just simply looking, and I did f stumble across this uh, great find, if you will, and, um, you know, had a choice to make of, of if I wanted to fork out the money for it or even potentially try to sell something so I could get it. I think it's fascinating though, um, uh, regardless if you're looking or not looking for uh, something, because even in verse 45, again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant looking for fine pearls. So some of us are looking, some of us are active uh, in, in, in life in terms of looking for the things that, that will hopefully bring some purpose to our life, will bring fulfillment to our life. So. So you have these two people, one not really looking, stumbles across something of great value, and in his joy, and that's one thing too I think it's fascinating, that he didn't do this reluctantly. Whatever he found, it was not a difficult thing for him to go and sell everything to possess it. Um, and I think, we, well, I'll come back to that in a moment, um, even though I'm trying to run out of time. Um, but uh, when he found one of great value, he went away and sold everything he had and bought it. So both people, the one looking and the one not looking, found this incredible, um, valuable pearl, this valuable thing. And uh, for both of them, something about it uh, compelled them to go and get rid and sell everything they had so they could come back and possess it. And at least in the first person, it says they did it with joy. Um, I know that sometimes when people think about coming to Christ or coming to faith in Jesus, they think about all the things they'll have to give up. Um, and I think hopefully in an illustration like this, we see that it's not just what we're giving up, it's what we are receiving. And to finish off, um, Jesus says uh, at another point in Scripture, he says, consider the cost of what it means to follow me. And, and so think about that. Think about what would it cost for you to follow Christ. But also think about this. I think this is a fair question. Think about what it cost to not follow him. What it cost these people if they hadn't pursued this pearl of great cost. Um, and so again, have you understood all these things Jesus asked? That's up for us to figure out. Adios.